Hi everyone, Nathan Hall here. Today's lesson, we're doing math terms, percentages, decimals, and fractions. We're going to look at how, a lot of times, these are all basically the same thing. It's just all on how you look at them. <laughs> so here's a preview question from science. 19% of your body is carbon. Neat, huh? All living things on this planet are based on carbon. So let's say you wanted to find out how many pounds of you are carbon. Well, if you weigh 100 pounds, that's pretty easy. 19. If you don't, it's going to take a little more math. We'll look at that. So your body is about 70% water as well. How can we write that as a fraction? And the air we breathe, 80% nitrogen. How could you write that? As far as percentages go, one place we tend to use that a lot, sales tax. Unless you're buying grocery store food, or clothes in Pennsylvania, you have to pay 6% sales tax. You have to pay sales tax too in Puerto Rico, but the rules are a little different. Every state has its own rules. So if you bought $100 worth of video games, that's what you pay, $106. $6 is your tax. So let's say you just buy one. You're only buying one Call of Duty game for $60. How are you going to figure that out? And can we figure out the sales tax as a fraction? We actually can. So for some of you, this will be a review of things you know, others a preview. So a percent is a ratio that compares a number to 100. We always tend to write them as a ratio, how many of one part, how many parts out of 100. 40%, the same as 40 over 100. With money, 25 cents, 0.25. That's how much of a dollar you have. Four quarters to the dollar, we could actually make that one fourth if we wanted to. So here's an exercise on finding the percent of numbers. We can do it with larger numbers and smaller ones. We'll talk about this in the live classes. So what percent of 10 is 15 and so on? Oh, and all these will be pretty easy. We convert fractions to percents just like we do with dollars. And we can go both ways on it. But let's say you, we wanted to figure out some harder ones. So let's say you had 17 out of 25. The teacher didn't give you percent. How can you find what percent you got right? In the United States, we usually tip 15%. So if the bill is $20, how much do you tip? If it's 37, how much? Decimals are very easy to convert. They make numbers smaller. So here, if we just move it two places, we have our percent. And if we can also estimate. We probably have to do that because decimals can go on forever. So we convert fractions to decimals. Here's one example of when to estimate. This would be three forever. So we just ended at the right place. We can convert decimals to fractions. And decimals to percents, very easy. Just move the decimal point over two spots. Okay, no. I erased that one. Okay. So if we were right equivalent decimal here, talk about doing the live class. Now this slide is going to be really useful. This shows some quick and dirty answers for conversion to make things much easier. This will help you make sense of, this will get you through a lot of the fractions and percents real quickly. So places we see these, when you're driving, each one of these is a fraction of your de gas tank. Decimals, whenever you buy things, measure things, and percents. The amount you get off, the screw, and we have this on your battery, on your cell phone, you'll see that a lot as well. So we talked about some real world usage. We'll do that again. We can turn fractions into percents. And otherwise, so the rest of this, we'll just go through for some more information and in the live class review some word problems. So decibels, remember, that's if you have a number, a dot, and more numbers. Percent from a decimal, move it two places. Fractions into decimals will take some division. And do they get smaller or bigger? They get bigger, well smaller, as you can move to the right of the dot. Sorry, they get smaller as you move to the right, bigger as you move to the left. 
So you, there's some questions down below. If you have questions, we'll go over this in the live class. But a lot of this is reading comprehension. So the information is here. We'll break these up for the live classes this week. If you have any questions, just let me know. Adios for now. Goodbye.